Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edith and today I am going to take you guys on a little adventure. So we're going to go and take um, a training class over the lymphatic system. This is someone that's very popular for her special lymphatic detoxing technique so I decided to go ahead and do that I actually wanted to take it last year but I ended up getting surgery and honestly I did not want anything like to conflict in my schedule with my surgery because I really wanted my surgery to get done so right now I am getting ready to start packing because I had a full day of, um, of work today and um, had to go and get my nails did but right now i need to pack and then um i need to clean i i don't know about you guys but i'm the type of person that when i go somewhere road trip or like vacation i need to make sure that my house is clean so that i can come home to a clean and organized house so that's what i'm about to do and my husband my husband's coming with me he's actually gonna drive me because you guys know i'm a passenger pr princess and i need to stay that way so he actually wants to leave it's raining right now so he wants to leave like before it gets dark and so if he wants to leave earlier then he's gonna have to um get his booty to help me clean so mm -hmm. but you guys say hello to mia mia needs a little grooming but she's gonna be staying with my mother-in-law and she loves her so She's gonna have a good weekend. Rainia, you love your grandma? You love grandma. Yeah, she's gonna be so happy. Honestly, when she spends time with my mother-in-law, she don't wanna come back to me. No. She's gonna have a good weekend. Bye-bye, say bye-bye. I don't even think that I told you guys, but so we're gonna be, um, we're currently in Houston. We live in Houston. So we're gonna be driving to Austin, Texas. And I actually have a, um, a brother, my brother, a brother <laughs> my brother he lives in austin so we're actually gonna be staying with him because it's just how we are in my culture if anybody like in our family comes to town like basically if we decide to go to a hotel versus staying with him the other person gets offended that's that's just how we are we're gonna be driving to austin so it's about two hours right now if we get catch a lot of traffic in maybe three hours so it's not terrible but um but it's, it'll be like a little road trip. And I'm excited because honestly, I've been working so much. And like since January started, I've been working so much. And then like my husband, my husband works all the time, like even on weekends. So, um, so I'm excited to kind of like get like a little time away with him. And we're gonna, um, my son is actually gonna be staying with mom because he doesn't like road trips. So we don't want to like force them into like, you know, needing to go with us. And also because I'm going to be like in the class all day anyway, you know, they're just going to be waiting for me and stuff. So while we're over there, the plan is to, you know, like my favorite thing to do with my hubby is go shopping. But anyway, we just haven't like had a date like that. To me, that's a date. Like that's my favorite type of date. And we just haven't done that in like so, so long. Like I think it's been years since he last went shopping with me. So um, since I'm gonna be in class all day, I told him like, let's have a shopping date after I get off. Cause you know, we could go to like TJ Maxx. And since we moved in here, there's a few things that I still haven't gotten. Um, like every time I move to like a different home, I always throw away like mats. I don't know, I just feel like, you know, after a while they just get wet and dirty. And so I need like mats and I need a curtain for the shower and just things like that. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be driving to Conectamos como Wi-Fi. En otra vida como sci-fi. Tu presencia me pone high. Sé que no son horas de llamar. Pero que quiero comerte a besos. Si Dios quiere se nota. Va a romperte como todos los besos. Esto no es casualidad. We are on the way 
to Austin and of course it's not a road trip if you don't stop at Bucky's. So we found like the Bucky's on the way there. You guys are not gonna believe this. This is like very disappointment Bucky's. Watch this. It's like gas station size. That's kind of sad and disappointing. That's even smaller than the one in Baytown. But I guess we got a pizza. Say hi, Mikey. <laughs> okay, so we oh shit, we went in there and it's like such a tiny Bucky's, so we could only get like a corn dog. We got a corn dog, some cheese. Let me see. Okay, what else? Some slim jim. sausage. Slim jim. <laughs> Another slim jim. Some peanuts, some actual jerky. Beef jerky. It's cold pepper jerky. And lemon pepper jerky. Okay. A las dos y me dan ganas de llamarte por el FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. Decirte que estás bien fine. Que me oras como el wine. Conectamos como Wi-Fi, en otra vida como Sci-Fi. Tu presencia me pone high. Sé que no son horas de llamar, pero es que quiero comerte a besos si Dios quiere se nota. Para romperte como todos los besos esto no es. Guys, we are currently on our way. Well, me. He's taking me. Thank you, baby. Wait, I just realized I could have drove myself. No, now we're late. <laughs> I literally, I feel like such a city shitty person. Do it yeah. I don't know why I didn't just like drive myself over. Oh, well, it's so that you can have a car through the day because you're probably going to need to like go buy food or something. At least McDonald's. There's literally a McDonald's around the corner. Oh, yeah. But what if he's gone? Because I think they're leaving. Oh, they're leaving? Oh, okay. So last night we kind of stayed up late well me and my brother um he went to sleep he knocked out um we stayed up late because we stayed up late drinking wine and just talking and catching up because i have not seen my brother in like years well I've, you know i've seen him like i saw him for christmas but We're going you there know, we hadn't really like talk talk so that is the reason why oh look there's some more shoals we're coming by here later okay i woke up with a swollen face today and of course of course like i don't have my my eyes roller but this is the reason why i don't drink anymore because then like i woke up i wake up swollen the next day and i don't like that like i would rather not drink then wake up swollen but I really really do hope that I can like learn something new today because this class was not cheap and it's literally just training like I'm not going home with any type of equipment of nothing so it's all about like the learning that I'm gonna be doing today so I'm also feeling like, am I gonna pay attention? <laughs> You're like, I better pay attention. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. And then I woke up this morning, I guess because I didn't get much sleep last night. I was like wanting to go back to bed and not feeling very excited. But <laughs> I'm just trying to get, like make myself excited for you know the new additional knowledge and being able to basically have a new service so I guess I should get excited I would definitely let y'all know how it goes and I'm supposed to be in class today and then also tomorrow so we'll see I'll give you guys like a little bit of a review and to let y'all know how I feel after
so i just finished look my lashes are like insane okay you guys so i just finished my first day of training um you know i'm not gonna like i don't feel comfortable talking about it just yet because i was telling my husband i don't know how i feel about it just yet um we were like practicing on each other in there that's why my lashes are like halfway off because it was like we were going over the lymphatic theory um on the face first um however i have to remember that this is something that i've been working on for a long time and so I have to be excited and, and um, you know, um, anyway, right now, um, it is 526 and since, since I'm out, I'm finally out and my little one is here because he actually decided to come with us to Austin last minute. Say hi, Mikey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. You are so cute. So right now we're going to go to, um, where are we going, baby? We're gonna go to Marshalls because uh -huh. you wanted to go shopping out yeah. here. I don't know yeah. why. Out here in well, Austin. you guys, I didn't know that it was. Well, one, I want to go shopping because because it's a it's a whole different city. So I want to check out their Marshalls and I want to check out their TJ Maxx because I don't know that's fun to me. But anyway, so I since Houston is hot, you guys, I did not bring a jacket. Like I brought like a workout jacket, but you should get you a jacket here because it gets cold tonight. Yeah, and I think I want to get me like some comfy yeah, clothes and. Close and too. Yeah, but see you guys in a bit. You guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found. Look at this. Look at this. I just don't like the velvet because it looks kind of dirty. That one, Mikey. But look at the inside. It's like Sata Texans coach. And then it's only. But he said either this one or the tote bag the Mark Jacobs tote bag yeah but you guys look at this purse it's so cute right and then they also have this other one this one but I think I have this one in like a bigger size but then look they also have this one too that's so cute So I don't know. I may just get this. Here's your alcoholic beverage. And here's my root beer. Oh my god. And I got you a straw. They wouldn't give it to me in a cup. So I had to get Whoa. it in this. So the bottle was so the drink the bottle was three dollars and the drink was seven dollars so to total of ten uh -huh. and if you bring it back you can get a refill for seven dollars because Ooh. they can't sell alcohol in cups or nothing it has to be a yeah. mix yeah but here you go and here's your straw so good so this is our date night tonight because my son isn't feeling good let me see your tacos baby oh they forgot your cheese Yep, I'm gonna go back right now. Hey, yummy. I'm that looks good. I hope these are good. I don't know if they're gonna be good or not. You think they look good, babe? Yeah, can you give me some mic? Let me walk. Through. Hey, you guys, we are back at um, my brother's place. And I got this jacket from Marshall's because, like I told you guys, I did not bring a jacket. And honestly, those stores were so empty. It was very disappointing. But um, I was like, my husband's like, We'll just go to the shopping when we get back to Houston. I want to show you guys some of the art that my brother has because I think it's like the cutest thing ever. So, uh, first off, he's got some pet birds. Here we go. One's name is Panchito. And then the other's name is Luffy. Right, Mikey? Those are their names? Okay. Just making sure. And then... Meme! Meme, come here! Come here, cosita bonita! The most handsome doggy in the whole world! Oh, 
on the floor. Don't eat it. Yeah. No. Like this place. I haven't seen my brother in years. But this place is like so him. Like, look at this. This is so perfect. Look at that. Look, I know they're good people because they can keep plants alive. Like, I can't. And it's so cute in here. It is so, so cute. And then the doggies. The doggies. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. He loves cuddles. Oh, yeah. Good look, look. Me too. <laughs> you too? And then Mikey, Mikey, of course we went shopping and we, I couldn't find anything, but he found like a thousand toys. And then look at this one, you guys. So, so cool. And so like, and that's so cute. And of course, oh no, I can't, I don't want to show y'all all that because that's, you know, too much info on there. But, um, so he, it's so cute. So he's got this whole antique set here that he's had it for like or his grandparents had it for like years and years tell me why i like this i got ready here this morning and literally i liked it even more than like the one that i have at home it's so cute no but like really i just love this so much like i literally want to take it with me but um in this room he said that you know the theme of it is like I don't know what did he say like the religious um decor that he's got he put it in here but I think it's so cute like how he does like the theme oh my gosh like to die for look at that chair so cute like it's so cute in here you know it was so cute without a mess but you guys know and Apparently, every time they travel, they get some type of art piece. I'm guessing this is one of them, but I'm not sure. You guys, I am on my way today to start. I said yesterday that I wasn't going to give y'all a review until today. I mean, until later. But so far, me sacó de onda la señora. Like, I don't know, I guess I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all like later when I have more time because right now it's 8.33 and I still need to go by and get me a coffee. <laughs> hey, I just left Starbucks. You're the one that found it, baby. But, just... There's just something weird and I don't know if it's like that lady doesn't like me. And honestly, I would say that I'm pretty likable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you guys, it's just like a weird feeling and <laughs> these are my classmates. We spent the whole weekend together. Yeah. I think we like each other. Hi love, so I'm currently back home now. It is actually daytime, but it is storming so bad outside that it's so dark in here but i hope you guys don't mind that also it's so loud i had to pull out my little mic what do you guys think about my little mic i want to give you guys a little bit like a review of this weekend so first off i am gonna say la señora i'm not gonna lie to y'all yeah no yeah no i don't be lying yeah no you guys know that you know what i'll get crucified for the way that I feel or think about certain things that's fine but you guys know that I I don't I don't lie I am so unfiltered if you know me in real life you know that I'm so unfiltered that like uh, you know some people don't like me ah uh, no just kidding la señora me sacó un poquito de onda how do you say that in english You guys see the lightning? That's literally lightning. Comment down below if you guys know. Like the first day, you know, like my husband pointed this out. My nails are too long, first off. That's what she said. And I'm like, 
okay you know that's fine and i normally don't have nails on you guys i normally don't ever get my nails done because since i'm doing a lot of sculpting they don't last on me because i was gonna go you know for the weekend to austin i'm like let me get myself a little bit more put together so i got my nails done this, these are my nails she said that um that my nails are too long and i'm like okay that's fine it just kept being like a thing that was being brought up through the entire time like in a joking manner the first day when i was like walking out she said it like three times before i walked out but honestly at this point she's like down the hallway and i'm like walking out through you know through the door and i'm excited to like be out and see my husband like my husband and i were obsessed with each other so when we don't see each other for a few hours we're like excited to see each other and so i didn't say anything like i'm just walking out you know i brought it up to my husband and he made a good point he said that it should be something that you tell people prior to coming to you he's like you should it should have been it should have been sent like the expectations of like nails whatever hair um clothes should be sent out prior to the person getting here i just thought that was weird that the way that she kept like joking about it through the time of the class because you know you know that there's people that work with like long long nails she even said like i have people that come in here with like nails this long and i'm like exactly like these aren't long anyway um so eso me sacó un poquito de onda on the second day i noticed that we spent a lot of time working on the face a day prior but we didn't get that same amount of time to work on the body which is the most important part that's the money making part the second day feels rushed which is like the most important part of you know the whole class that's like the whole point of paying for the class in the first place you almost have to take it and make it your own to make it work for your clients so i didn't really appreciate that part because i feel like at the end it's like not allowed to ask questions through the time that you're working i don't know that part kind of threw me off yesterday i practiced on my sister with her i was just making sure that i remembered like all of the steps and that's really all i was focused on and so when i got to like the actual stomach area i feel like my session was not as long as it should be but that's also why i feel like you're given a formula but I feel like you're not really given the like the true here is the exact timing that we do on clients and the timing is very important because if not then it almost feels like I have to now decode it here with my own clients and being that the class was four thousand dollars and I mean like four thousand dollars as in like that's it no you're not given no equipment and uh, like no like nothing this does not include mentorship this does not include even a shout out for your business like for example i um i posted like our selfie or like i took a video with her before i left and i posted that and that was not reshared uh like that was not reposted which also like when my girls post me and, and I see it because there's times when I've been like posted but then like if I took a day off that day off of social media and like I didn't see it then unfortunately like, it's gone you know like the stories go away when I catch the story I make it a point to repost my students because I appreciate them as much as they appreciate me so whenever other people and even with my clients when my clients repost I repost them I mean whenever they post they give us a shout out i repost them even when other businesses have done that for me i repost them so whenever a business doesn't do that it it almost feels off <laughs> just certain things throughout the class that also when i make a video i show my personality well now i feel like i'm doing that a lot more than the past years but the way that you guys see me being on here that's the way that i am what you see is what you get in real life with me and during the class it it almost like took me it almost like <laughs> you know you know when you're gonna go train with somebody you know you'll watch their videos before you go um you almost kind of like know what personality to expect when you arrive there i don't know about you but i feel like that takes in like the anxiety away from me a little bit when i got there it's almost like a slap in the face the change in personality versus what you get 
on social media i don't know like that to me just throws me off so much because it almost feels like you know um you know like let's say this is a weird example but let's say that you have a celebrity that you love and then one day you get to meet them in person and they're not sweet how you seem i don't know that threw me off even through through like the class we were actually we were practicing and then she started doing like a video for her own social media but we were in the background and even her voice changed and i'm not saying that my voice doesn't change when i make a video because like i feel like sometimes like we put that customer service personality like it was weird it's like mm, i don't i didn't like that and then just certain like certain things that she said through the class kind of threw me off as in like you guys i don't know you if you discovered me through the katasara body contouring business you guys know that i mentioned on there um certain things about the business and um like yeah it is a business but then also you shouldn't be in the business if you don't like doing what you do or like don't enjoy i don't know like if you don't care about the person that you're seeing you should not be in business and it almost came off as that way you guys i'm so sorry i keep running out of space and that's actually why i didn't give you a review like right after i was done with my class i so i'm just gonna go ahead and just keep it short i think that the training was good and and i feel like i don't have anything bad to say about the training but i don't think that it's known <sighs> this is gonna sound bad because i feel like everybody determines their own price and what they are worth but i because i feel like i came back and i have to decode my own stuff here from what i was given um like i don't think that it was worth four thousand dollars like if i'm paying four thousand dollars for nothing but training i should be able to when i get here be able to do exactly what you do that i see as a before and after you can't advertise this is the type of work that you're gonna be doing if you take my four thousand dollar course and i come home and i still have to decode it i get i need to practice to make sure i remember all the steps but i shouldn't have to decode how, like how much freaking time do i have to do in the afternoon to do this like i should not have to do that because what i was told in class i went ahead and practiced it it just doesn't look right and so um now i'm not gonna let this money go to waste i'm gonna basically decode it i'm gonna um figure it out but that's all i don't know and that's also why like as soon as i got back like i went and practiced on my sister because i'm just like i need to make sure that i remember all the steps because i don't have i don't have a video for reference but that is that you guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed coming with me to austin texas to get this training um and i hope that you have already liked this video and i hope that you subscribe to this channel to see further vlogs and let me know what you think about this uh vlog style because i actually enjoyed creating this a lot more than the typical sit down videos uh don't forget to leave me a comment down below and if you do add us on our social media make sure that you send a dm letting me know that you're coming from this channel so i can go ahead and follow you back as well and show love and support for whatever it is that you're doing as well i appreciate you and i love every single one of you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye